Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to talk about how I got the ridiculous KD of 67 at the beginning of this season. As well as I want to talk about everything that was been added in season 7 and my personal opinion on all of it. So getting a high KD is pretty simple. We basically just landed someplace where there was nobody else's landing, which was racetrack. And since everybody was hot dropping tilted or the new areas in the map, we had it pretty much to ourselves, allowing us to get mats, guns, shields, and everything we needed. From there, we just kind of moved and took fights smartly. We never really pushed people too aggressively. We just wanted to make sure when we got into a fight, it was going to happen quick, and we were going to be able to get out of there to stop the third parting. Now, we ended up making it like 11 games straight, except for one game we lost in between. But it didn't matter because it didn't bring our KD down at all because it was the first game we lost. So we ended up with a pretty crazy KD of 67. But since then it's fallen down because every game you lose, like the second game you lose, it ends up splitting in half. So it was pretty unrealistic to hold, but it was still a pretty cool thing to achieve at the end of the season. So before I get into the negatives of the season, I guess I should talk about one thing I do like what they did with the new snow area. I think all the new POIs are pretty cool, and the way that they kind of combated the the varying heights and the big iceberg is by adding the grapplers, which I think are very cool. And it's pretty easy to shoot people out of the sky, so they're not too overpowered. And they're just kind of a neat new kind of movement that they've been adding for each season, like rifts, shadow stones. And it's one thing that I do actually like that they included in this season. Like, why am I playing? <laughs> it's not even fun. Why do I play? Like, what a fucking jackass. You see how far he has to go? Oh my god, dude. So, one thing they added with this new season was planes. And however, I think planes are super cool and I love flying them. I feel like they're too overpowered and the fact there's no consequence for ramming into people or ramming through builds. You can kamikaze people and take no damage to yourself. You get shot out of the air, you just get glad to redeploy. I feel like there has to be more of a consequence for ramming into people because, like in other games, whenever you crash an airplane, it would blow up and kill you. And that's going to require people to be more smart about how they fly a plane, and it's not going to be used as an aggressive tool as much as it is now. You still have the turret on there, and you still have people that can ride on your plane and deploy off, which is a great way that you can add support from the air which is cool aspect, but being able to ram straight through people's builds is not a good thing to have in this game. Now, with people getting shot out of the air, I think when they get redeploy, it should automatically make them pull their shoot. That way, people who are on the ground and have decent aim have a way to actually combat somebody who's been flying around and annoying them. Because if you're in a plane, you have a pretty good advantage to either leave or get far enough away so if your plane does get shot, you can just glide away without them being able to hit you because you might be too far away. That's going to be the end of the video there guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think about Season 7 in the comments and I'll catch you guys in the next one.